Hi. We got Cardi Jacobs here inside the bubble. And before I get into football, the first thing I'm going to ask is Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> I got a tip that you're a big Star Wars fan. Yeah, uh, this Halloween, me and a couple of guys, we were uh, stormtroopers for Halloween. Oh, cool. We went and saw the premiere last night. Oh, you did? How was it? What's it was your grade? Nine out of ten. Really good. Uh, must watch, must see. Really? Okay. Well, now we'll get back to uh, the football here. And at Bearcat Journal, I usually have an end of the year thing. You, congratulations. Not that it's a big honor because I chose it, but you were my <laughs> special teams player of the year. I appreciate that. 16 tackles, and I think you were around the ball so much, and you have to be a gladiator in many cases, especially on, I think, kickoff, because you're running full speed. It's like running full speed. And, or coming out of a car and hit the mailbox sometimes. So, you know, what kind of attitude do you have to, to have to, to excel in that position? Uh, to be on kickoff, um, it was a true honor, and uh, he put me in position to make plays. Coach Winter put me in a really nice three? position to make plays. Uh, the one spot. One. And uh, you really have to be a war daddy. Like he, he tells us, you got to be a war daddy. you got to have a relentless effort, and you really got to fly around the ball and just make plays. Well, it's not something that guys look forward to doing but it's a necessary part of the whole process but you know you're a guy that came here as a safety had a lot of other, other offers who were some of the other schools that offered you when you were a senior before? I had uh, Tulane FIU FAU Western Kentucky schools like that I was thinking some ACC schools maybe came they in. they started to come in at the end and then uh, I was all Cincinnati real loyal mm -hmm. and now what's your height and weight uh, six foot one, 197 pounds. How tough has it been for you? Because when I still remember on signing day, you were one of the guys that really Tommy Tuberville talked about as a guy he thought he could play right away, and you have played. But uh, you haven't played probably as much as you would like to play. Um, how, what do you need to do, do you think, to, to get yourself in a better spot? Uh, I think I just need to make more plays. Um, I think I make a decent amount of plays now, but in order to see more playing time, I need to uh, hone in on the game more, study the game more, uh, work on my speed, my quickness, uh, my hips, and just my whole asset of the game. And then I think I'll be ready to go and get a lot of playing time. What I see when I look at that defensive backfield is a lot of talent and a lot of youth. And, and as everybody matures, a lot of depth, much like we saw at Houston and Temple as they, you know, there were maybe some growing pains. Um, when you look at the safety position, quite a bit of young guys, they're all competing. Yeah, we have a lot of young guys uh, competing for spots, and uh, we all want to get into the game to play. But uh, we all respect each other. So uh, Zach Edwards is, is my elder, and I respect him playing the game. And whenever he's messing up, I'm, I'm there patting him on the back, telling him to get ready and keep doing his thing. And when it's my time to go in, I'm ready to go. Well, it wasn't the season I way hoped, seven and five. But you get to go. You guys get to go to Hawaii and get out of this cold weather here. So I guess you're looking forward to getting into warmer climate. Yeah, it'll be a lot like back home. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. As you look at San Diego State uh, as a team, as an opponent, what do you see and what do the Bearcats have to do? Uh, San Diego State, when we look at them as an opponent, uh, we feel like they're uh, underestimating us. Uh, they run the ball a lot, uh, very little pass. So for, in, order, in order for us to win, we need to stop the run and uh, just establish field possession and we'll be perfect. The Bearcats the last two bowl games have, no, uh, yeah, last two bowl games have lost. So. I would think that everybody wants to end this win a little differently with the win. Uh, with the seniors we have and uh, the team around us, uh, I don't think losing is in our blood and our option for this bowl game because there's no way that the seniors will go out that way and none of the younger guys want to send them out that way. Thanks for joining me. Thank you. Thanks, buddy.